Mr. Murphy, why did we lose the signal? It is of prime importance to retrieve the transmission. Our nation is in times of great peril. My captain, there's a huge storm on the surface. This is why we lost the signal with satellite, my captain. Can you tell me what the unidentified object on the monitor is? This is the antenna, my captain. It allows us to receive the satellite signal. The signal is generated from a base station on the mainland and sent to a dry centenary Earth orbit satellite using a parabolic dish antenna having a high directivity. This is called the uplink. For a high data rate, a KA band signal with a 30 carrier frequency is used. The satellite retransmits the information towards the ground. This is called downlink, and another carrier frequency at 22 GHz is used. We are able to receive this downlink signal with our antenna. However, the electromagnetic waves cannot penetrate the sea and are reflected back to space. To avoid surfacing and risk detection, the antenna is mounted on the board. The antennas have a special property of reciprocity. They can be used to transmit and receive electromagnetic waves. When transmitting information, they are traversed by a current and a voltage which enables them to radiate this information as an electromagnetic field. It propagates in the environment. By reaching the receiver antenna under certain conditions, this electromagnetic wave is converted into voltage signal comprised of data then decoded to retrieve the information transmitted from the base station. This signal comes from a just stationary satellite that moves in synchronous rehearsals. To receive the signal, we basically have to turn the antenna toward the satellite. Officer, operate the antenna manually and point it in the direction of the satellite. Negative captain, the storm is too strong. The satellite is precisely located at an elevation angle of 40 degrees and an azimuth angle of 20 degrees. However, the point mechanical system is way too slow to compensate the boy movement in such a rough sea. The severity of the storm prevents the antenna from pointing towards the satellite and receiving the signal, Captain. Officer Murphy, you have to find a solution. There are only three minutes left. Otherwise, the mission is doomed to failure. My Captain, there is one last hope. Our skilled air of engineering team has developed a new prototype mounted on another boy. Using it, we'll be able to direct the antenna beam electronically at much faster rate to point always towards the satellite. This new antenna is based on an array of antenna elements that are controlled by phase shifters. They call this method beam forming. The phase shifting is applied in microseconds. Using the new antenna system, the storm will not deter us from our objective, my captain. Officer, you just tell me that to receive the signal from the satellite, it was necessary to align the antenna in the direction of the satellite. How will this be achieved? using this method. The antenna does not need to point towards the targeted satellite. However, its radiation pattern must be directed towards the satellite. The antenna effectively receives signals arriving on the main lobe. The other waves arriving from other angles are not received. This helps avoid any jamming signals. To do that, the engineers use an antenna array. Feeding several patch antennas, the main lobe will be more direct of my captain. Officer, I'm wondering, how does the phase shifting work? The principle is to delay the signals coming from many elementary antennas constituting the array relative to one another. The beam of the array is pointed towards the direction in which all electromagnetic waves emanating from the elementary antennas are in phase, such that they are added. If those electromagnetic waves are out of phase, they are subtracted, and this can help us avoid jamming signals. We will get in touch with our objective in 10 seconds, my captain. The new boy is ready to be launched to the surface. We are awaiting for your orders, my captain. Lunch the boy. Paul to his LA Clipper teammate, Blake Griffin. It'll be interesting to see how he does here tonight.